Hello everyone and we are back. Welcome to Where's the Keys At? Um, to my right I have... Jo. And to my left... Louise. Michelle. As yeah, requested yeah, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, as requested. Um, so I thought we'd kick off and talk about, obviously we've got the next Where the Keys At event coming up. Yeah. Yep. 2nd of December. Yeah. Um, just for, you know, what are the ideas, what are the plans, everyone planning to wear? Have we not night? been planning your outfits for a long time? Since, the Since it got announced, I thought, right, it's winter, 2nd of December, what am I going to wear? I just need to know, uh, are you wearing flats? This is the one <laughs> question I need In to my ask. mind, I was like, yes, Joe, of course you are. But then now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I... I guess I a bit old school when it comes to I don't feel dressed up unless I got a hair. Like, I do feel a little bit like that. No, like, I'm problem. not wearing a flat, but I just oh, I do you just, know what I mean. I just don't know. If, I just don't know if I can go out in a trainer. In a trainer. But then all oh, this is what the whole skirt and trainer mm. thing as well for me. I I I get it. 100%. Yeah. But I still like, even just dancing, doesn't feel the same dancing. In a when I go out in London, though. That's true, that's true. When I go out in London, I'll wear trainers, flats, because really? that's just what you kind of wear when you go to London. Yeah. Is that because you see it all the, the girls? I think it's comfort more than anything yeah. okay. there. Right. But back in Ipswich, I do feel everybody still likes to dress up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, yeah. do you know what I mean? And I just feel, I just, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, really, with the. I remember on hol my own holiday there, and I was wearing flip flops one night. We went out, and I was dancing. Got home, my feet and calves ached. Mm. Right, because yeah. I was so flat. Mm. Yeah, mm. Do you know but then I mean? if I wear such a heel, my foot is the same shape as the shoe the next day. <laughs> 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 Depending on how much I'm dancing, there's like this club foot. Yeah, I can't have oh. no sausage toes again. That's yeah, having it. <laughs> All right then. Um, well, let me know the memo. I think I've got a really nice pair of boots though. Like they yeah. are, and they are comfortable yeah. boots. Like healed, stacked. Boots. This is the thing, though. Do you actually think guys think like we think? Because no, we're we're no. planning our outfits no. weeks, months in advance, and they'll just get up and be like, "Yo, I'm probably going to put this on." Done. But we're now talking here. What are we wearing? We went to that christening the other day. We went to christening the other day. I was planning that Russell outfit getting, for months. <laughs> Russell was getting stuff out the morning of. Yeah. He's like, oh, do I wear, wear those trousers? I think they're packed up in the loft. In the loft? Yeah. And there we were at the morning of. My wow. outfit was done. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just drive got... you nuts, though. It's just oh. like, oh, they need some iron or it needs to be washed. Yeah, so can you wind like this? Or something. Yeah, because I think they're prepared? quite relaxed about it. They very much think that there's going to be something I can wear. Yeah. 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 So, yeah I'm sorry, but there's, there's nothing I can wear. <laughs> <laughs> that is outright mine. <laughs> no, but I know. No, no, a whole room. It's a wardrobe. I know we as girls have got a lot of clothes, <laughs> but we still want something new. Yeah. Why is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Just True. something new. True. It, well, especially if you're, if you're around people you haven't seen for a while mm, or do, yeah. you know, maybe pictures, whatever yeah. it might be, you're like, well, it's not like the whole, I don't want to wear it again, but yeah. it's just like, well, if you have, but like... If but though, was, sorry, Anne, that's if, right. if we went out, would I remember what you had of course on? Not. No, of course that's not. True. I don't no. even remember what you were wearing. But I, I actually think. remember what you were wearing. <laughs> you were actually but don't. we always think, yeah. can't wear that because I've worn it no last time. No one else time. actually cares. Yeah. No Nobody one actually cares. cares. No. And I think unless you've had a photograph and it's uploaded on Instagram or Facebook or yeah. whatever, I think people are like, oh no, I had photographs in that like, and then I can't wear it again. But you can because no one really cares. No one really cares. Do they? But I think as well, wearing something new, you feel good. Yeah, you, you feel, do. You 100%. do feel that. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think it gives you that feel good factor. Yeah. Back in the day, you know, when we partied hard, every Saturday, I'd have yeah, some, get something, something new. new. Yeah. yeah, I'd be down that yeah. new look and yeah. I'd get something new. I couldn't possibly wear the same thing no. the following no. weekend. Not could do it. Out. No. no. And sometimes Straight it's a panic after. because I'd exhausted everything in town. <laughs> yeah. When town was good, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, when, when you had things yeah. like... Um, have you had New Look where... Where is New Look now? Oh, no, New, where they had the big New Look. The New Look was in the big one, market. yeah. And then you had, like... Um, River Island. River Island, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. the A-Town. Top Shop. And then Top Shop, oh. Miss Selfridge. We even yeah. had, did we even have a monsoon? Yes, yes. Oh, no, we, we did. did. We did, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, not Mango. What was the other one? Um, we had Warehouse. Oh, Warehouse, Warehouse yeah. yeah. Plus Debenhams, obviously. And then Olders. Was it Olders? Olders, Olders. And you could go in there and get... shoes? No. no. There used to be, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was opposite where River Island used to be. Barrett's. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. I used to yeah, work sorry, in Barrett's. And Darcy Perkins. Yeah. Barrett's. And Darcy yeah. Perkins. Yeah. There were so yeah. many shoe shops. Yeah. There was. Yeah. So yeah. many yeah. shoe yeah. shops. Honestly, Shoe Express. Shoe Express. What have you seen talking of shoe shops? Shoe Zone. 
has come into town, into the main town. I was Where? Telling yesterday. Where even was, was it like, before? What? So Shoe Zone used to be right at the other end, up past Primark yeah. Way. I see, I never go up there. And Over the, near Anne Summers, did it? Yeah. Yes. I know, yeah. yeah. And now it's come all the way down opposite McDonald's on the corner. Cool, it used to be that cheap. Shop, but I don't know what it was called. It wasn't Poundland, but no. one of those cheap shops. Oh, that was oh, that was like a ninety nine p shop. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's okay. There. Yeah, they're doing it all out now. I was wow. Like, wow, it's gone up in the world. Yeah. It has gone up in the world. Yeah, yeah, because okay. there's no other options. Let's be honest. I mean, well, they yeah. wear them two times and they fall apart. Mm. Are you tired? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this is this is the thing. Like we were talking about fashion and trying to yeah. shop, right? Yeah. So. Okay, so you'd look on companies like Shein or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, okay. I do love a Shein. I don't know what I like. I so you buy Shein. a bunch of crap because I'm not going to lie, the returns for Shein are so nice. I did like the in post return. Yes. And you get your so re- refund within like two days. It's really it's good. so quick. quick. So with that, it's really good. But don't you miss just being able to shop and try stuff on yeah. and go out with bags? And- well, I had this conversation with our mum and about Christmas shopping. Yeah. And me and my mum always like to go on a little trip somewhere. And where do you go? Because we want to go and have a look at stuff. And then I go into shops and I'm like, how much? I'm like, I can get that for like £13 on Sheen. Yeah. Sheen, as I call it. Sheen. Sheen. Yeah, yeah, it's what do you call way. it? Sheen. Louise? I think, it, I think it's Sheen, as in like yeah, Sheen. Sheen. Uh, she yep. in yeah I think it that is. is good yeah so, but one quality thing, though one thing I love good. about it is that they give you points and stuff for every review and every picture or video review they give you extra points and then people can give you thumbs up you get extra points you've so got a lot of people posting pictures and videos so you get to right. see what it looks like on different yes. body types I love that because you, the... you scroll no, never buy anything unless yeah, you have a look I at the agree. reviews because okay. I might look at a pair of like I don't know trousers or whatever and I'll scroll through see someone who's totally not my shape and think look lovely on her <laughs> yep. scroll see somebody that might have a bit more curves and I can see it's pulling and it's mm-hmm. tight I'm like hell no am I getting them trousers yeah okay. you see what I mean so yep. you can see it on a real life person okay. so yeah makes it's a good. difference it is so much what better. happens with the points so the, they last for a certain amount of time and you can mm. deduct like Get money, money off. off oh okay I mean, there's you saw a lot of younger people kind of me I can't be bothered with that to be honest oh with I you. don't I'd, I'd I don't even know how to get points. But it's re- it gives people an incentive yeah. to want to leave a review, which is really helpful. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Just like anything, though, just like Wish and all the other ones, they've got some good stuff. They've got some crap stuff. I oh. do know my um, my cousin's now husband bought a yoga mat from Wish. <laughs> I think it was something stupid like two quid or something like that. Anyway, no, probably like 80p, something crazy. And it arrived and it was like this big. Oh, <laughs> oh the girl house. I mean, that's not the yeah, first time I've heard so, that. Yeah, it was so small. So he was like, no, nah, I'm not ordering from Wish no more. Yeah, well, if it sounds too good to be true. Yeah, it usually is. For yoga yeah, mat. it usually yeah. is. Or no, there's that new one, Team You, at the oh. moment. Would Anyone ordered from everyone? there? You no, ordered from Team You? No, I, I like Team You. You've ordered from Team You? I ordered the other day. What did you get? I put it on a credit card though, <laughs> like Russell's credit card, because I was like, <laughs> I said apparently there's like loads of scammers and stuff, so I said like put it on the credit Extra card security. to be safe. Yeah, yeah, because that's like, I think another sheen, like okay. it, like, oh, like it used to be. It's like if <clears throat> Wish and Sheen had a baby. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 something's are good, something's are not. But I tell you yeah. what, though, another thing about even though I love still going shopping sometimes, unless it's a busy day and it feels like like it's really stressful. Yeah. And I see, I feel like more shops are acting more like TK Maxx now, where it feels like a rummage sale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Know, but right, right before I went on holiday again, I got a bunch of trousers. Went down to um, Stratford. I went to Zara, which is one of my favourite shops. Yeah. And I got three pairs of cargo pants, exactly the same size, different colours. I was like, right, I'm going to stock up before I go. Yeah. One of them fits like a size and a half bigger than the rest. Mm. Oh. And I hadn't had a chance to take it back. Can't send it back to return it. And obviously now I've gone past the return stage. Oh, no way. Which is one positive about shopping online. Yeah. yeah. That you can't get from in store. Mm. Um, and I heard... Apparently, there is a lots of brands that do this where there's either a star or. I was now going to say that. I've seen on TikTok. big or small. Yep. I've seen on TikTok, Zara especially. Okay. They've got a triangle for, might mean run small, a square might mean okay. run big, and a circle is regular. Yeah. So you have to, and I didn't believe that. And I did actually go into Zara and I had a look and I saw, oh, yeah. But I What's can't. On I, the price what do you mean? Yeah. So on the inside, so when the on the inside of the actual label, it will right. say obviously Zara size ten, twelve, or whatever, and it may have a circle and and I'll that's, say that, that circle is running big to, to yeah. size oh. or yeah. smaller than yeah. So, and right. Then, but this is my problem with well, you know good. being slightly curvier, bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. I 
you can get a 12 in one shot. Yep. Right. And you think you feel good because you think, oh, it's a bit big for me. Maybe I'm not a 12 anymore. And then you go into another shop and you fit a 12 on and you're like, can't get it up on my legs. Right. Yep. And that that is so soul destroying because mm-hmm. I think, what's happened? Yeah. So that really winds me up. And I don't know if I like all that whole runs big, runs small. Just mm. be a 12 or just be a 10. Mm. You know? The thing is, though, now you've got obviously American sizes, European sizes, UK sizes, yeah. Australian sizes, whatever they run on yeah. there. You know, what's the actual women's clothing size hasn't been changed since like the 1960s yeah. or something when women's clothes were worn differently, they're fitted so differently. Yeah. So different. So yeah. I so think it's completely outdated. I think yeah. the whole thing needs to be reevaluated. 100%. And they need to, actually, there was a, just change, quickly changing the subject on that, but still on the same thing. There was, um, do you know the brand Opoly? Mm-hmm. So there was a, uh, oh, it went, you sh- I should show you guys. It literally went so viral. I actually did comment on it because I thought it was a bit bad as well. You're busy. No, I'm not. So there was a model and um, it had a sequence midi skirt on and a crop top. It, it was just like a, it wasn't a real person. It was a, a dummy. And you want to see the model. It had a waist like that and see? then went out like that. Un- completely unrealistic. And I thought, that's ridiculous. Mm. That No one is like that. Mm. And then I went to read some of the comments absolutely slated there were mm. literally a hundred percent of those comments were like oh polly i love your brand but this model is unrealistic and then somebody else was like you've really ruined my day like you've made me feel like i don't fit into your brand i can't buy your brand because i don't look like that did and they I, reach out and say anything oh polly was commenting on every single post and it was like we're really sorry if we'd have, we've offended you we will amend our you know our our yeah. model or yeah. we'll change the direction we're going in the video still get the video's still right. on there but it's got a lot of attention for the wrong reasons but i just thought i looked at that and i thought now that right there is not real life it's mm. not it's not real when that's not a real body but isn't that what isn't that what kim kardashian did with her skims yeah <laughs> with her body suit it's just like hold on a minute real women yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. Just bring yeah. back gypsy skirts and cowboy boots. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was happy when Just I was in cartouching that. Yeah. I was so happy. Just I bring back gypsy stuff. skirt, cowboy boots, big belt, wide tooth comb, fringe. I was having a good time. Just bring back stuff. I didn't actually, actually let's, let's mention that then, like, because yeah. we were talking about how fashions are. I was happy. Mm. Like, let's, let's have a look at how fashions have changed, right, compared to when we used to come coming back, back in the though. day. But this is what I'm saying. It is coming back. Yeah. But have you not noticed some of the stuff from the 90s, is, late 80s, early 90s is coming back, but on the verge of we would have never have dared worn that then. Mm. And now it's fashionable now. Yeah. It's just like, oh, fuck off. No, yeah. Like, yeah. That was yeah. never fashionable. And now my kids are saying something. Like the youngsters think they're, they're cool and wearing Adidas mm. poppers. And I'm like, I had a pair of Adidas <laughs> poppers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When we talked before about how Champion used to be like in the States specifically. Yeah. 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 A cheap brand. Yeah. Now yep. it's just like they want to charge forty high for tech. High, high tech. tech. Oh no! It's I had a pair of high tech trainers. High tech are expensive. Oh, no. We would never. I would never even. No. Know. no. With a yes. No. No. It wouldn't have happened. High no. tech are expensive now. I'm wow. telling you. Yeah. Right, yeah. You look on ASOS, high tech are about £150 for a Fila. trainer. It's made wow. a good Fila. comeback. Yeah. Has it? Yeah. When Ooh, I yes. came back from the states and saw Kids El- got Fila. Elise, Elise, Alessi, whatever they call it. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. I like all, of them all over the place. It's just like, okay, this is hilarious to me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's Eve. Was it last year, year before last? Me and Robin into town. And we do what you do after you've had a good night and we have a little argument about whatever it was. We were yeah. completely <laughs> drunk. Ta- couldn't bother to wait for a taxi, so I started stomping off. So he started stomping off after me. We decided to walk home. But it had been raining and we decided to go up um, Tuddenham Cemetery Roadways. Mm. And... My, my my shoes were fucking cutting me. So he did, I started to, started to take them off. He's like, you go and walk barefoot. And I was like, oh, fuck you, as you do. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. Walk up, so my husband, bless him, he took his socks off. Oh! He gave me his socks. So I could oh, stop his feet all cut up. His feet all cut up. On the cemetery road. Yeah. <laughs> that's so yeah, nice. Yeah, that's so yeah, nice. Yeah, that is nice. Even though, you, even though you're cussing him as well. I know, we both know. Yeah. At that point in the morning, I was like, you know, you don't know who started what, if there was anything nah. to argue about. Yeah, no, exactly. Then in the morning, yeah. I love you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. when you got home, I love you. Poor man's feet is all cut up the next day for the sake of his wife. His feet in his shoes rubbing with no socks. But talking about, because I think we mentioned this before we started rolling, mm. about the video that we was just posted about Friday oh, night. Oh, yes. Oh, that yes. was Saturday. It was, it was, it was Saturday that was a Saturday night. night, yeah. Um, 
And just having a look and talking about where you used to be busy. I mean, mm. he only scratched the surface of all yes. the places. Yes, yeah. So I was trying to rack my brain because I'm a little bit older than you guys. Mm. And I was going out to Hollywoods and to um, the attic when I was like 15 because mm. I had some older friends I was going out with at the time. Yeah. And so trying to think, so correct me if I've got the days, days wrong, whatever, but I think the attic used to be on a Friday. Where was the attic? That Close. was part of the tavern, wasn't it? No, Back, that, no, the no. attic was by, was um, the by you know where Bar Extreme, Bar Bar Extreme used to be, didn't it? Used that way? Yeah. yeah. Where? Set back, there was some yes. apartments. Yeah. Yes, I remember some so apartments there now. the region and yes. the swings. Yes. You keep it. going a little bit further yeah. and then it was a building set Oh, yeah, before yeah. that pub. Yeah, yeah that pub, yeah. yeah. Set back. Yeah. And it literally yeah. looked like a little wooden house. Yeah, if you actually went in there, you wouldn't know I remember, I went to a party there once before. Yeah. Yeah, that was random. Yeah. It was, and it used to be like way before I, I think used I went there to go. once. I don't think I've ever been there. Yeah, I do remember. I've it been was, a, yeah. I was, I reckon, 90, 97, 98, probably 99, wow. probably stopped, in all fairness. I don't remember. Yeah, I remember it. But so I was only about 15, 16 when I was going there. So yeah. I was like 15 when I was getting into mm. Hollywoods and wow. the attic. And um, so, li- um, no, not even before Liquid Liberties. So Liberties used to be good on a Thursday night. And then Hollywood's was either Friday or Saturday. They used to mix. Then Traders was Traders Friday or Saturday night. Where oh, was Traders? Down downstairs, downstairs, downstairs in Hollywood. It, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, guys, I'm a little bit young for that one. <laughs> and, and then that's the thing. So, and then so Brannigan's used to be on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. It used to be popping on a Sunday. Um, but then it all changed. So when I moved away, and Hollywood's kind of closed, or well, I, I didn't move away. What the hell was I doing? I started working at. Sound Academy, mm-hmm. and that's when it got really busy. Oh. But then, Card- Sound Academy Card- was Card- the one Tush. behind the that was on Tavern. 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 Yes. yes, I remember Sound Academy. Oh, yeah, that's Sound Academy. Um, it used to be prior to that. It used to be like a laser tag or something. Yeah, didn't it? yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, but no, that's. I was just trying to think the time frame because when Hollywood's closed down, it was a gap between that and Cartouche, right? And that's when. Sound Academy was really, really busy. Often, yeah. And then when Cartouche Sound started, Academy was really up. good. Sound Academy was a little bit like a Ministry of Sound feel where it was all it was. dark and all the strobe kind of like... Yeah, yeah, like that was quite... Got memory, Lou. I remember Cartouche Sound Academy, yeah. took all their clientele back, I think. Yeah. I think that's why it started to die out. Mm. Mm. So we would do Yates on a Sunday night because it was karaoke. I used to yeah. do that before school. And then um, I'd always... Uh, I'd do... I think I did Cheese Cartouche once Hippodrome. before... In Colchester. Yeah, and then I remember obviously the liquid downstairs room, the R&B room. Where else? Where else? Oh, I remember Buddha Bar. We had a Buddha Bar. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. that. I remember that. Where was that? I remember Glass House. Yeah. So oh, was, you remember Glass House? No, that's yeah. just like um. That's where is that in the walk? Lepre's. Yeah, it was right on the corner. Where Lepre. The Lepre. Lepre's was the one for me. Yeah, yeah. That's, where, that's wine bar. Right? Yeah, Lepre. But that was the one. Yeah. We used to jam pack in there like a house. Mm-hmm. I used to love that. Yep. I used to love it in there. You know the sofa in there? I think it's still the same one. I just used to love it. I'm pretty sure it's in some shit. Yeah, better house. You know. But I do think. Out of everywhere that everybody went, La Prey's would would yep. be number one. Because you read the comments on that video, mm-hmm. everyone's like La Prey, La Prey. But you could Prey, go like, there on your own, or you, you there would be someone in there, yeah. or you could finish your night and say to your mate, "I'm going there or whatever." Yeah, see you later. You could always link up with someone yep. in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. always. And it was also in between because back in the day when pubs closed at eleven, so everyone would then rock yeah. out them, and then yeah. they would end up at the club or whatever. The praise was had that like kind of late night license. It so did, you kind yeah. of, if you didn't want to go to the club, yeah. you could kind yeah. of hang out there. I just love the music the in music there. Was so it was good just in there. so good. Like, and then you had I can't Ollie, remember what they played, but you had good. Ollie's down the road, didn't you? With the little chat hatch toilets. You had oh Ollie's, yeah, you remember chat hatch toilets? Oh, Do you remember them? Is that on the corner? Yeah, and you'd sit yeah, on the toilet, you sit you on the toilet and you'd the open toilet. the chat hatch and talk to each oh, other. Pull no. the chat hatch. Never went to the toilets in there. No, yeah. I didn't use a chat hatch because I never sat on the toilet. I never sat on the toilet. What was Revolution before Pals? Because now Pals had a de- was decent. I, remember, first, remember, I remember it was Pals. Pals. Yeah. I don't remember it was anything else before that. And York Exchange. Does anyone remember Arissa? I, th- I think these are coming Arissa after my time. Arissa rings Oh, yeah. Arissa. Leanne, Arissa. Oh. Well, you know Quan Thai? Next right. door to Quan Thai. The Thai restaurants in Nicholas Street? What? So Nicholas Street go out, Leanne? Leanne, do you actually go out, Leanne? Do you actually go out, Leanne? Were you about? Oh, hold on. Was it... Across the road from Tajiro's. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I went there once. And it had. Oh, <laughs> that was, that was, wasn't it a restaurant? Yes. 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 Oh yeah, my that, God. Yeah. That, that was sick. That was sick. Yeah, Joe, you'd gone yeah. by that point, hadn't you? 
No, there was. A, I remember I was at De Janeiro's. Was it De Janeiro's? De Giro's. De Giro's. I think what I was went there like twice. No, seriously, what was it? De Giro's or De Giro's? Depends on how you felt at the time. I always said it was De Giro's. De Giro's. Need a poll. Yeah. yeah, I was there anyway. And you were there. Across, and there was a club. Double. Yeah. Sorry, so that, that was only the one time I went. Mm. Okay. But Libby's upstairs on a Thursday night. Oh my goodness. There was this little old boy, and I'm not joking you. He was shorter than me, and he must have been in his eighties. Every Still week, it. just no <laughs> honest to God, really? and everyone who had he had the most respect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. just just live, living, living. Yeah. His best but he was there life. to have a dance and have a good yeah. time. And you know, he was never he wasn't there to grope up the girls. They <laughs> no. just enjoy the vibes. And the women, yeah. there'd be nights where you're like they'd be surrounded by women dancing mm. with him just because. But yeah, never try to grab him up. It was not about no. that. Do you know what I always think? Like I've said this to you before. If we knew the last time was going to be the last time, do you feel like you'd have tried to enjoy it a bit more that last night? Because we don't actually... When we, was the last when, night? When was our last night out? If you know what I mean, you don't think of that being the last night you're going to go out. You just don't go out anymore after that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess weird, for me, because I, like I said, I never went out a lot. But I guess for me, I, part of me does wish I was out a bit more. Mm. So I got to experience yeah. more of that. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that would be for me. But just, when when is... That when is going to be too old to go out? When is too old to go out? I think it's as things change. You just, it's just evolved, don't yeah. you? And, and that's just... the thing, as the social climate changes, as the people you're around change, as the music Your changes. Your nights change as well. You, you don't go, go music, hard no more. You go there with changes. expectation. Yeah. Mm. It's just like, listen, so we've all said, it's not always about the music if, if you've got a good crowd, yeah. right? If yeah, you've got yeah. good people around you. Mm. You can make it what it is. But let's be honest, if the music is shit... It's oh, I'm down. done. I'm, I'm like, bye. I don't like all the music now. It's aggressive. Mm. And with that, it brings aggressive Crowd. people. Mm. Probably it's, born in Ipswich Hospital, but they think they come from some gangster... Town of Brixton. Town of... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like... Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's and, just a I, weird I, vibe. I don't know if this is an age thing, but... I don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> I don't even understand. I don't even know what's being said. Yeah, and then they probably go home and go, yes, mum. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, pull up. Yeah. No. But I do feel like... Sounds lazy, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I do feel we get, like, each generation gets pushed out because there's nowhere for us to go. We obviously want a good night out and want to... I mean, the the other Where the Keys at party said spoke for itself yeah. people want a night people out want yeah. to hear so that. I feel generations are getting pushed out because there's nowhere that you can go and hear your music Do you know but what I mean? even as well just touching still on the music the R&B that we have now I don't know if you're noticing but a lot of the songs that are coming out yep. Got the backing uh, tracks. The backing tracks yeah. from they're songs. All, they're all songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were yeah, all of them. Yeah, I've heard. We them. had the good stuff. Mm. We yeah. did have the good yeah. stuff, but also because you want to reload their it. versions of it. I wouldn't say are uh, anywhere near as good. No, no. no. Again, I'd say it's lazy. The, mm. the yeah. singing and that. It's yeah. just they're not trying. Nah, not the same. No. I hear. I hear. I heard a few songs on the radio, and <laughs> I was thinking, oh, this song. I've, and mm. then I was like, nah, I don't like it anymore because. Something something else has gone over it, and I'm like, nah, it's not as good. Yeah. But do you guys think you'll still be partying as you get older in your 80s, like that guy? Like that guy? No, oh, he's something else. In my 80s, nah. Don't know That's if I'll be here for my 80s. Yeah. No, well, if I am, then we'll be together. Yeah. yeah. I've, already, <laughs> <laughs> I've already kind of slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Like the time sometimes is just like talking about getting ready and the whole process mm. and the hangover that it lasts yeah. like a That's week tough. and a half afterwards, not just a day, but like an entire week. Well, I don't like feeling like, like that. I don't. No. Not when it's you've not got things it. to do. And that is the thing. Sometimes it has to be worth, worth it. it. Wasting yeah. the day. Hate it. Yeah. So the second will be worth it. Yeah. I don't care it if I have be. to write off the month. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> no <laughs> plans. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no plans for the third. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And yeah. don't care if her feet like that. Yeah. But I need a day to recover, guys. But other than that, it's got to be worth it. Yeah, 100%. It's got to be... That ain't something I could do every weekend now, no, like no. I used to do. I used to Friday, go out Thursday, Saturday, Friday, yeah. Saturday, away yeah. the weekend, whatever it was. I can't, and then go back to work. I don't yeah. know how. No. How do we do it? I'll never forget. I have this one memory. I think it was on a Thursday night. I had to work on Friday. Got back two thirty in the morning. I was what sixteen, and sit in the back room. My parents and I smoked at the time, and so I was sitting there, had a cigarette, sitting. Woke up, burning my leg because I'd fallen asleep with a cigarette in my hand. Oh my gosh. Right, and I had a big mark on my leg for ages. And I literally had like an hour and a half of Friday bit work. And I was sitting there, there was one day, and it had me cleaning these 
these trolleys and the thing me upside down cutting the hair out of these wheels right oh no just seeing stars oh like, my god for the entire day yeah. but guess yeah. what Done. by the time I left I went home yeah but you right. freshened up and went out again yeah, yeah, no. yeah I've done as well <laughs> yeah yeah when I was See, I couldn't have done yeah that. when I was about Honestly, 17 yeah. 18 going out on a Friday night always had work Saturday because hairdressers always work on a Saturday mm-hmm and then it's like, oh, what are, you, what are you doing tonight, Louise? Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to go out. And then before you know it, you sit there, your little Blackberry goes off back then. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you know, you're coming out. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, Actually, all right then. Yeah. And I'm getting ready. My mum's like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm just going to quickly go out, like, you know. But you'd go out bit. at about 10. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not yeah. that now. I used to go out at, until at least yeah. 10 because you've got to have a few drinks first. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you feel I mean? you've still got that mentality? Because I do. I'm a bit like, yeah. oh, no, you're not too early. It's too early. Too early. Oh, don't, you were like that. You the, said that. You did as well. And I'm sitting over there and twiddling my thumbs like, oh, <laughs> okay, listen, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, time, what, time, what time did it start? <laughs> like 9.30, 10. And what time we I ordered a taxi, didn't I? Oh, we okay. went out. Yeah, we went out. Shall ordered the taxi. We went down to Aurora's yeah. to have a drink. And I'm sitting over there twiddling my thumbs like, no, not yet. Don't want to be the first one there. That's Louise. That was Louise. I'd ordered the taxis and everything. Michelle don't mind being the first one there. I'm like, no, no. Let's get yeah. But to be fair, and Michelle was, Michelle is right. This is a one at the time of the mm. first one. Obviously, we didn't know they were going to do the second one. It's a one nighter. So why not be the first one? In why and are the we going to rock up leave? at like ten half ten? The event starts. At, I don't know what time is it. We night? don't get these nights very often. Yeah. So why not be the first one? In? Yeah, I want to be there as soon as the first. We're going to be the first. We're going to be the first ones there next time. <laughs> I've got no problem being a groupie. By the time everyone else problem. gets there midnight, you're so done in anyway. You're so yeah. done. Yeah. Shit, you're yeah. all still it's on the dance floor. Yeah, exactly. So why not for everyone else? I had danced so hard. I don't know, Louise. Louise is like, where were you? She was looking for you for like an hour. I know. I was, and then all the photos come out and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, actually, do you know what? I don't know if my feet can cope being I little. She, little I danced the whole night. But then I was just all of a sudden, you just like, done. I was like, done. Yeah. I've danced so hard. You hit the wall, I've danced so hard. I was like, bye, mm. Louise. She's like, you're going. And yeah. it was hot in there. Yeah. I was like that too, actually, when I. Oh, a little bit of advice. Anyone out there? Thank you so much. For your little fan. fan, make sure yeah. you have a hand fan. Yeah, hundred percent. Very much needed. If Even though it's go. winter now, honestly, you know yeah. that body heat. Need it. But back in the day as well, in the club, you come yeah. out there a sweaty ass mess. Yeah. I'd come out there different. sweaty, stinking of smoke. Stinking people of shit, could smoke yeah. in there. Yeah. Fag burns all on my arm. People on the dance floor like, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> so much has changed. For me. You know, my yeah. eyes were stinging. If my eyes aren't Aww. small now, they were then because I was like this. Between the cigarettes and the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's why I used to come home early, because you, your eyes were stinging. Mm, yeah. I remember that. But then crazy. take that all away when you couldn't smoke in there, these places. Mm. What could you smell? Just everyone's farts. <laughs> <laughs> How hard you got to be dancing? True, though. It's true, though. It's People true. People dance hard and fart all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get away with it that now. <laughs> and that's this, that, that, that. Yeah. Um, but meeting, meeting chips, breath. <laughs> 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 So right. That's right, man. You can really smell what people smell like now. We used to have this in the nineties. It was this really weird mashup of like dressy and shirts and stuff. So the guys would wear jeans and like button down like school shirts. The black shirts with the white collars and that. Right, or the, or the white, the black with the white stitching. Yeah, like yeah. No, big, bigger collars and cuffs. And yeah. we would wear like the fitted blouses with the little jumpers over the top. Yeah. Or like I, suit jackets and jeans. I yeah. fitted blouses like a corset thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was like a fitted blouse with a yeah. black corset. Did you remember that? You're going to go out, you got to look business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was like a business vibe, like, wasn't it? That was an absolute <laughs> panic. That's what that was. <laughs> I, used to wear, I used to wear like, I, an actual fact, it's coming back now. Do you remember my little waistcoat? Yes. Yes. I, I don't oh, remember yours, but I know yeah. the ones. I used to have ones. a little waistcoat. Yeah. Yes. And I used to wear like a, I don't know, it was a black waistcoat. So I might have worn like a, I don't know, bright uh, orange tank top or something, vest. And I'd have my little, um, my waistcoat over the top of it. Was it like, was mine was pinstripe. Like but no, mine was just actually plain black. Uh, and I remember I got that one from. One button. One button. I yep. got that from Miss Selfridge or Warehouse. Mm-hmm. And I went into town when I bumped into you. And. There's a River Island waistcoat. Yes. And I'm thinking to myself, what now? Yeah, I don't yes, like it. A little waistcoat. Yeah, yeah. I quite like it. Back around. Yeah, a little waistcoat. <laughs> I think we were, did you guys have to wear um, the big knickers and the yes. and the grey oh, skirts yes. for PE? Yeah, the the hockey. Yeah. I'm like, you know, now the they, girls can't even wear skirts. There's no really? Is it because of the so whole. What do they wear then? Trousers. Look, 
Oh, they're allowed to. But they can't. But the thing is, I don't like about it. They can't even wear skirts if they want to. They just say no skirts. Is it's it because they can't option. target it at girls anymore? Or I like, don't know. Kind of thing? They've not really explained. Mm. They just want mm. it to be. I don't know if it's about a distraction thing mm. or whatever it is. So literally, the pee kit is pretty much all the same mm. across okay. the board. I'm like, that's some bullshit. Yeah. But I remember they, they told us to get everything. Yeah. And I don't think I ever wore the skirt. I always always used to wear shorts. No, I, 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 I remember getting in trouble shorts, for wearing shorts. shorts. Athletics, when we used to, I used to hate athletics, we used to have to wear just the gym knickers. Yes. They were blue with <laughs> a t- hate the, the shirt. Yeah, was, it always come a little yeah, bit too short, didn't it? I hate it. Terrible. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> That's bad, though, isn't but it? But really now, bad. with your mentality now, do you think you'd just be like, whatever, I can just rock it? Then you're so oh, I still don't think I can yeah. rock gym knickers. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I definitely can't, but I'd probably be like, don't care. Yeah. yeah. Because that's my generation do, now. though. And I must admit, that's one thing my I love. My bum's a little bit bigger Although than I when I was 16. I can't that's... even wear normal knickers. Yeah. I can't even wear normal knickers. Sorry, Sorry, no, no, it's fine. After Just... one stride, it turns into a thong. Can't She's always got one up her ass. I have. One up her cheek. And I've got big granny knickers I sometimes wear for comfort, got to say. And yeah, one stride in them, and it's like... And I think now, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why. That's why <laughs> denim shorts are a hard find in the summer. Right. Got one, I've got one. I've got one cheek she hanging out. You it, right? Did you? Just, and I, I said to him, do you? I was shocked, weren't I, the other so, week, the other month, when you had a thong, and then I was like, do you always wear a thong? Like, yeah. I was like, do you? Like, never. I'm the same. I she, don't she was wear like, big knickers. I just you don't wear thongs. knickers. No, yeah, I wear thongs. Yeah. I wear thongs. That's my underwear. I don't wear nothing else Joe. but thongs. Oh, I hadn't worn a thong for years. And then, and then I think they got start getting too wide. It's just like if it's going to be a thong, let it be a thong. I don't know. Or be come out alive. <laughs> <laughs> like, the shows ends up like a cheese wire. <laughs> I'm actually not. Definitely, it's true. I'm like, so I'm all about the big knickers. Hello, all about the big knickers, y'all. I actually prefer laser cut. What's a laser, laser cut? cut? Laser cut. What? You <laughs> <laughs> don't need to be. What is a laser cut? It's just um, seamless. So they're like, oh, okay. they're they're like knickers, knickers, um, knickers, briefs, yeah, oh, knickers. Yeah. No, but what are they called? Seamless. Um, seamless. Yeah, the no, seamless they're not one, called but... seamless. They're called no VPL. Yeah. Yeah, see, no visible. Yeah, no, I know. No that's visible panty liner. Yeah, yeah the, oh, okay. liner, liner, well, liner. <laughs> That's a whole number two. Yeah. So they're the yeah. ones I prefer. Yeah, that's nice. Well, I like I like wearing thongs all yeah. the time. I was Same. in shock. That was a shock. No, nah, unless, unless it's time like, of the month, I've got big knickers. I think everyone can vouch yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone vouches for that. You want to be comfortable. Feeling. You don't I've feel got, great. I, I've got boy shorts, like actual female. Like, no, not female. I went to Matalan and got um. Pair of teenage boys boxer shorts. They feel right at the front though, because aren't they a bit funny at the front? I don't give a shit. Who cares? I mean, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They're um, comfortable though. Especially when you're just in bed or you just want to, you don't want anything to ride up anywhere. Yeah. You're supposed to ride yeah. up. So comfy. Mm. <laughs> I, maybe you say that though. Like, I've never been trying to swallow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> trying to swallow. Yeah, and shuck. When, yeah, when yeah, Liliana shuck, was shuck, little shuck, and I was showering her, she looked around. She's like, oh, mummy, mummy, you have one too. <laughs> because of the bit in the front of your. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I don't. It was hilarious. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Okay. Nah, thongs all day, every day. No. Yeah. Do you guys feel um, ma- your underwear is important? Like, do you wear matching underwear? Like, nope. No, no, I don't either. No, no, no. I, I think the either. only time I would is if I'm thinking, oh, you know, you like gonna get some. <laughs> <laughs> but that's. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going come out wrong now. That I will want to do that. I yeah, yeah. very often. Yeah, yeah. No. But my best mate actually wears matching underwear all the time. Really? Regardless of whether she gets them or not. Like yeah. she literally is. She she's, she's prepped and ready. She's to go. always been like that. Matching underwear all the time. She's single, but she wears matching underwear all the time. With all due respect, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably one it's of the effort. reasons. No, no, no. Even even when she was in a um, when she was married. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Bless yeah. Her. So she she just loves matching underwear. She sort of always always matchy matchy. I mean that's the, that's the thing as well. Going back to talking about wanting to wear a bra, or wanting to wear certain underwear and stuff like this. What kind of undies do you wear? Some people just don't feel dressed mm. unless they've got that. Yeah, that's mm. true. That is so true. So that is there's nothing true. wrong with that mm-hmm. at all. If it makes you feel sexy, because you know, if you feel sexy, talking about clothes and how mm. you feel about yourself, mm. if you want to be the seducer or however, if you feel that way, you're going to naturally just come across a little yeah. bit more confident. Yeah, that's mm. true. That's, that's so true. true, Joe. You know? Moving on to sex. Yeah. Do you think, 
Do you think it's still a thing that people, apart from a religious point of mm -hmm. view, do still choose to hold out until they feel they've met the right one and moved on to marriage before? I don't know, you I know. I think it's Sex. very rare. I, yeah. I think it's very rare. Very it's rare. rare. But we do... I only knew one person. Yeah. We yeah. knew one person. We and knew, yeah. <clears throat> I think that may have been for religious reasons when I think now, but um, I think that's just how she is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? In her, she's quite strong, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Yeah. And she was no sex until they were Had married. her own plan in her head and that was... That was it. That and was how long were they together? Before? Quite a while. Five years? Like yeah, that? quite a while. Five years before, That's I think. That's serious yeah. dedication. Wow. That's dedication. Wow. Five that years is. before they had anything. Before they got married. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually. I think. So that was wow. nothing sexual. Oh, come yeah. on, Wella. Oh, come on. That. That's what I used to think. <laughs> come on. Let's be honest. Or was it just... Well, she no, wore white to no her sex. wedding. She did wear white Reese. to her wedding. She did white. Because they say a virgin can wear white. Yeah, exactly. She will white to her wedding, but <laughs> I've said this before. I'm just like, what if? <laughs> what if it's a little witchy grub or an acorn? You're going to be devo. Do you know you what I mean? Are. And you're you're going to be you devastated. That. Do you need to try before you buy? That is the question. Do you know what I mean? Because you're married now, and it's like crap. That's it. Do you know what I mean? That's I don't know. I don't. I just think it's a massive risk, isn't if it? If you say massive try risk. before you buy. But I don't see what's wrong with, like... Exploring. It, yeah, like... in be safely. Yeah, but in terms of, like, what is the reasoning? I know there is religious reasons and people do want to wait and they want to hold out for that person. But I just think, like, surely the whole getting to know somebody is all to do with all of that intimacy. How can you be close to someone? How can you say you love someone before you've even been that close with them, that intimacy? Do you know what I mean? There's definitely different levels of love. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 100%. And sexual love is obviously more physical and you can definitely find yourself in a deeper state of love with somebody if mm. you have both of those things, I yeah. feel. But let's be honest, the whole sex before marriage has only been discussed because of religious things. It yeah. is a fear to keep women pure for their intended. Yeah. That's yeah. the only reason. Yeah. yeah. Now, as a mother... You look at it differently. So I look at it, looking at my door and things differently. It's just like, not necessarily because of before marriage, but because I want you to love yourself. Yeah. And not yeah. give yourself to somebody because you are looking for... Yes. Validation. Validation or like, yeah. to yeah. be approved, to be loved by somebody else. Mm. Do women give themselves over too quickly for validation? Is it more of a, yes. because this person makes me feel good rather than I don't... How long I don't do you wait? Good. How long do you wait? Exactly. I think there's too much social pressure. Yeah. Mm. We didn't have all of that. No. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> all this, again, that's another topic, Everything in front of you online and Everything. Stuff, yeah. And it's it's not real. It's not real. Do you know what I mean? As Films, so movies, all these like things you see, you know, saying everything's perfect and these, these little these little films you no, watch it's not, it's not necessarily that I just think it's the love island yeah and all of these I don't know do you know what I'm, do you know what I'm trying to say okay it's, hold on though do you know what I mean <laughs> you know what we had instead we had 90s R&B Tell me yeah. that, that wasn't oh, a yeah. falsehood for way, way men are supposed to treat you. And I know. Let yeah. me lick you up and down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and say praise you. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Praise oh, you. What was that yeah. about? Yeah. And come on now. I, I mean, know. that was a false Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> now you're I'm trying to think of more lyrics off the top of my head. Without going into the Kelly yeah. songs. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, how you know? <laughs> it's just yeah. yeah. Okay. But between between frigging um, Joe and Next and One Twelve and all these men and all these th with purities and what they want to do for you and mm. how they can make you feel. feel. Yeah, that was to see. Uh, yes. Come on now. Mm. That is true. Mm. Actually, so we heard yeah. it. We said, you know, so they're getting. To, but the thing is. The difference, I believe, I agree with you now, is it's in front of you it's all the face. time. Yeah. With your TikToks, everything. Yeah. And a lot of the problem is, is it's it's a flash of what this person... Like but Facebook. You're, but, you're you're Facebook made, yeah, but you're life. made to feel now, and I, I see it with the youngsters, I see it with some of my young clients, that like, you know, they're really into a guy, the guy's really into them, and then they give up that part of them. And then the guy's 
and it does work both ways, guys and girls. Mm-hmm. Get what they want. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna move on now. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's it, it is everything is very sexualized. Everything is sex, sex. So it's I always know. about that. It's never about like you know, having dates and dating someone for a long time, a long mm-hmm. period of time, a few months or whatever, and just yeah. seeing, it's always like, oh, I start with him. And it's like, what have you been dating? Well, dating now it's yeah. like three weeks. Called a like, body you know? count. Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about this and me, me, and, me and Claire were like, what is that BMI? <laughs> no, we were like, what is that? It's how many people you've slept with. So oh, it's called cool. a body count. Oh. Yes. But why yeah. not just say how many people do you slept with? Yeah, it's so well, why have you got to say what's your body what's count? What's your body count? That's what they said. Yeah, me yeah, and Claire yeah, were me. like, oh, is that like your BMI or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. I let's mean. look at, okay, so let's look at the statistics for HPV. Mm-hmm. You know, the majority yeah. of the human population carry HPV. Yeah. And majority of them don't know they have it. Right, okay. It's that simple. But us as women know we do because we obviously go for our smears, don't we? Men men carry it and give it to women all the time and they don't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's just these little things just like if you've only ever been with that one person and that one person's only ever been with you. That's a different story. But that one person slept with one person and that one person slept with two people and those two people slept with four people. Now you've slept with everyone that's I don't slept with. I don't think it's a problem for but somebody that's the truth. if you're dating yeah, if, you're, I, I hear if you're dating somebody for a long offended, for a little while. Would. Exactly, yeah. but this is the thing. Nah, I wouldn't. But they're trying to try to try to get these kids to pay more attention to that. Did you know a lot of kids have gone backwards and not using condoms and stuff again? Seriously. Oh yeah. The STDs are on the rise again. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not fashionable. It's not, it's not fashionable to do that. But there was this period of time where they were. Mm. Yeah. The kids were getting smart and they were like advocating for their personal mm. health and their physical health. And now it's just like, well, I'm free. I can do what I want. Well, this is another conversation I had. It's probably going to slightly off topic, but still on on bang on what we're talking about. Yeah. With one of my clients about um, the whole condom versus the pill kind of thing, right? And it's like, if guys, you know, are going back to not using a condom, are they expecting, you know, obviously, you know, girls to be on the pill because I don't think they're clued up on thinking, actually, the pill doesn't stop you from carrying all these other things. You know Mm. what I mean? It's just going to stop a pregnancy. It's still, you know, I don't think they realise that wearing condoms just doesn't stop a pregnancy. It stops a whole lot of load of other things. And I think kids are going on the pill a lot younger now because everybody is becoming more sexually active a lot, lot younger. Oh, don't say that. A lot, lot younger. That scares me. Yeah, a lot like younger. It scares me, but I really hope Mm. my daughter, she's nowhere near that stage now, but I hope my daughter can talk to me Mm. and I hope we can be open and because I want to be that mum, you know, that she can talk to. And It's about educating them, isn't it? You can only educate her her on... Because um, it is just a way, it is yeah. life. It is life. And sometimes it's embarrassing to talk about it with your parents, but Mm -hmm. it, it is life. But I want her to, I want her to be able to talk to me. Yeah. Do you know what the funny thing is, though, right? We, we start about sexuality, we go on to talking about sex and, you know, we move on to STDs and go to periods. Because women, we are always thinking about the bigger picture. Men would still be talking about sex right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. About positions, yeah. Yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah. You know, they would, honest to God, it's so funny. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Even when we're trying to... Because we're more mature. Right. Mm. All right. More mature. (laughs) But yeah. When we are even thinking about sex, we don't actually... We're not actually thinking about the act itself. We think about all the things that go with it and everything Mm. all around it. Like, you know, we're not... We don't just look at it just like that as people, as, as you know... It's an event. Women. Yeah. yeah so. As women, yeah. I think we do it's look like at it. You've been married a few years, you're like, oh, yeah. okay, now I've got plenty. Let you show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some matching underwear. <laughs> yeah. And turn up. As you're rifling through yeah. all the monthly ones. I don't, know they do, I don't know if they do fancy underwear in, in Bridget Jones. <laughs> <laughs> don't <Hey>. style. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So my my mate wanted to book a strip off for her friend's Hindu, and um, I was working with her at the time. We we're flicking through these things, and she was like, "What about this guy? He's coming from Birmingham." And I said, "Mate, he ain't going to be coming. Like, trust me, they they don't that you book them and they send somebody else." And she's like, "No, no, no, we've got him. We've definitely got him. He was this ripped, mixed guy." fit lovely and I thought yeah you'd be lucky if you get him mate lucky anyway so he turns up to the event and actually I because I'd helped her book this stripper well you know and I said oh let us come along to watch the stripper and she <laughs> wasn't even invited she, but I rocked up at this girl's she went yeah she, she went, went, we knew stripper. the girl she was like yeah she went mine so we rocked up anyway you know, 
get the stripper and she gets a phone call I'm here so she's like Lou 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 come downstairs with me I said alright then so let's for example say we, we were meeting um, what was Anthony Joshua yeah say, say his name was Anthony for yeah. example right Anthony's downstairs we're like okay like so, you chugged the Joshua so we, 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 like, I wish. yeah I wish <laughs> yeah so we go, we go downstairs and we're like we're in the car park he said I'm here and we were like where is he? And she's like, oh, where are you? He said, yeah, I'm here. I'm just inside the bar. So you went, I'm in a sailor suit. So she was like, he's in a sailor suit. And I was like, okay, right, well, you know. We go in. Well, <laughs> well, this guy's about 60. No. 60. No. More than that. More than 60 that. year old, tall, white guy, completely different to the pictures. I wouldn't be paying for shit. Nah. Saggy skin, I saggy be skin, no. crinkly, not even saggy, crinkly <laughs> skin. Oh, yeah, so anyway, he's like, um, like yeah. he goes, Anthony couldn't make it, so they sent me instead. <laughs> and I thought, hardly a like comparison, that's basically ordering bread, r- bread rolls no? at Tesco's and getting rice cakes. And that's your yoga mat. That's, that's that yoga mat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wish. Yeah. Wish. Yeah. 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 So anyway, Jen's like, what am oh, I going to no. do? What am I going to do? So I was like, mate, I don't know. And she was like, uh, hold on a second. So we had a confer and I said, mate, I don't know. It's not. Because oh, you wouldn't no. even want him grinding up oh, against you. No, it was no. that gross. Like, oh, it was no. like, no. he would have turned to another So way. he was here. Yeah, the girls terrible. were already upstairs. So she gave him the money, right? 200 oh, something quid. No. Gave him the money and he come upstairs and of all the songs to, to dance to, <laughs> oh, just what it was. <laughs> Please don't tell me it was friggin' genuine. No, yeah, pony, Not pony. pony. Yeah. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be, oh, pony? Why huh? wouldn't it be? So he's going, if you're on it. Oh, no. Let's do it. Oh, God. Like, like a kid's trying to scoot their horse and across the floor. I'm not joking. Oh, it was, I just weren't looking at it. It was point. cringy. So, obviously. <laughs> it was really bad. And he'd, he'd got this um, this scarf and he'd, he'd, got, he'd got the bride's face and her oh, face was no. all down there. Right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then when he went like that, we were all just like. Don't even want to look. Oh, my God. Oh this my is so God. disrespectful. Yeah, Sorry, sir. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not joking. Well, wow. I would like. I wouldn't like to say the size. Well, it was just like a little deflated <laughs> balloon. <laughs> when the balloon's gone, one. <laughs> oh my yeah, goodness. it was bad. Oh, no. It was bad. That yeah, is so embarrassing. Bad. And that's why you don't have a stripper. And that's why you don't have a stripper. That is yeah. exactly because on why their catalogue, they're like fit. Yeah, right. and you're like yes. Yes, no. more yes, and then they send I'd someone like, every this time. Is some old false advertising. Yeah, bullshit. yeah. But what they do is because care. I don't think they're they're um, checked or licensed or anything like that. Right. And we could set up an agency. Say like, say look, I want to be a stripper, for example. Yeah, but we you want a certain type of like brand. Yeah, yeah but we, yeah, but we set up an agency and we put these fit girls on there, and then you know. I go and I've got no stripper experience, can't pole dance or whatever. They're expecting, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And but anyone you, can you, do but it. But then you paid the money. That's done. The wedding shortly followed, and then it's forgotten about. Forgotten about. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Also, is it yeah. though? Just said it on the podcast. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's out, out there now. In a car, though, right? Yeah. It's like okay, you see like whatever one it is, and then it's like or equivalent. <laughs> yeah. It's still got to yeah. be in the ballpark. Yeah. That's what I mean. It could take yeah, that's, <laughs> okay, I would be clutching at okay. I'll be clutching the fact that, you know, he should at least have been muscly. I don't care if he was short. He should at least have been muscly. Right? And because strippers are meant to be fit, aren't they? Yeah, and under under 50-ish. Yeah. yeah the, he was within 60. The, you know, you've got some... some, some no, within the age range. No, no, there's some funky fucking... Yeah, no, 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 but, he, but he within the age range of those. Yeah, he's no, got, he's got he a, needs he's to be in the be age built. range of what we... Because we didn't order over 50. <laughs> we, we ordered like, I think you were supposed to be... I don't know if it was like 28 or something back then, oh, but yeah. yeah. Why should you have categories? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're paying, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you all on the 2nd of December at Where's the Keys at event. Yeah, boy. Bye. 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 Bye.